So it's finally about that time that My Hero Academia Season 2 is here. The series is back! Oh man, I'm so happy that it's back, bro. Hello, I am Double N. Like the video, subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Let's get right into it. Uh, kind of started off a bit slow paced, and I think that's good. It kind of had a recap. It was 13.5, which essentially was an entire season recap of all episodes 1 to 13. Uh, so they figured it did a .5. I mean, it's been almost it's been almost a year, if not over a year, since the series actually launched of season one last year. So I think the recap was much needed. Uh, really fine-tuned and refreshed people that don't really read the manga and are only anime watchers. It's something good and refreshing. Uh, I think, if anything, I'm hoping that season two is going to be 24 episodes, crossing fingers. But unfortunately, it's probably going to be another 13. I mean, it seems like the only thing they're really going to be doing throughout this entire season 2 is the U... Uh, what is it? The UA Sports Festival. I think it's the only thing they're going to be doing because they're not talking about anything else. So... I don't know. I don't want to just jump the gun and say that, but that's what it's looking like it's going to happen. Starts off slow, though. Or starts back up with everybody kind of fine-tuning and catching themselves back from what happened in season one's ending of all the villains invading and kind of terrorizing the school so they're kind of you know reality check here waking up and it kind of seems like it was a pretty good pace here I, I like that i like that you know it was pretty realistic they're heroes but they have you know realistic logic where they just kind of came back into it they're like oh hey we're still kids in school so let's not go to school for a couple weeks until school is fixed and hey let's, let's pull up and do our work and that's exactly what they did uh, one thing that I thought was really interesting is Ochako uh, talking to her. Um, I like Ashley. I actually like why she be wanted to become a hero. I actually like it. Her ideals are pretty realistic. I gotta respect it. She did it because she wants it for money. Uh, seemed like her family growing up didn't have the world's most highest of funds. <laughs> I was thinking, how can I word that? They didn't, have the, they didn't have the most funds right there. They, they got by though. And it seemed like she really wanted to become a hero to obtain these funds to really help out her mother and father, mainly her father. Uh, they went into a lot of short cutscene, which I think that cutscene was a pretty good pace. If they had just sat there and gave it like a 15 minute cutscene, then I would have been like, all right, it's not. But yeah, it was good. That's good. She's very realistic when it comes to this hero shit. So I got to respect that, Ochako. Like, she already bay up, and now I respect her even more. Um, good looks, Ochako. Good, good looks indeed. <laughs> but we were seeing a lot of tension build up between Todoroki and Izuku. Uh, mainly from Todoroki's side, he's really interested in Izuku. And if you guys don't know, they're going to have a fight in the sports festival. It's not really a spoiler because not say the outcome, but they're going to duel it out. They're going to brawl it out. It's not really a spoiler again because at the end of this episode, they even say that Todoroki gains a liking to Izuku and he tries to fight him. So, yeah, this is some Naruto Gara type of shit because he's kind of like the Gara of the series. But I, I like him. He's like not as edgy, not as dark, not as stupid, but I like him. Todoroki, my favorite character from the series overall. I'm up to date with the manga. Still my favorite character. Uh, dude, purple hair. Can't forget his name. Oh my god. Keep a lookout for that dude. They show him next episode. Keep a lookout for that dude. Man, that dude was something. But um, they're really getting. Uh, whatchamacallit? They're really kind of transitioning the series towards the UA Sports Festival. And the one fear that I have is if they only keep it with the UA Sports Festival. Maybe that's just me. I wanted to show more, like the original One for All and a lot of other stuff. I wanted to show, you know, more of that. But we do get a lot of more information about uh, what All Might's intentions with this whole One for All quirk. Basically, he transitioned it down to Deku so that Deku could replace his spot. Everybody knew this is episode one. But now he's really making it serious now. He really wants to let him know. First off, his time's been cut in half. He used to get like three hours, and now he gets like 1.5 hours. So his time is literally cut in half after that Nomu battle. Ah, that battle hurt so much because he punched them in the... Nomu like jabbed him in the gut where his hole was. Oh, that shit hurt so much. But that fight really did weaken him a lot to where he can't even hold out as long as he can now in his buff form. And... He basically now has even less time now to stay alive, be healthy, you know, be bearable, and be able to use this all, one for all quirk. And one scary thing that he's really pointing out here is that even these villains are starting to realize he can't last that long and that he's slowing down 
and that he's dying. Everybody is realizing that he's dying. It's, he's applied. He's dying. So, Deku is supposed to be the successor towards the one for all quirk. And I think he's really trying to tell him here, you got to get ready for this man. You got to get the mindset ready for it. But at the same time, you have to be able to use his quirk because he got lucky. He got lucky. It seemed like I think he's going to say that he had the intention of wanting to kill with his quirk. And that's why he was able to control it and actually use it. But he got lucky. It's a good step in the right path. But he got really lucky on not taking any collateral damage with it. Uh, if anything, he's going to have to learn to use his quirk so he doesn't take any collateral damage. And that his body is in tip-top shape. Because if he uses Quirk all the time and he's fucked up afterwards, there's no point, dude. People will just stall you out, man. They will literally just stall you out. They'll dodge one blow and half his arm is gone. So he better better get into shape with that. I'm telling you. But I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to lie. For the UA Sports Festival, it was very enjoyable. I'm going to love to see it animated since I read it in the manga. Very, very, very high for you guys. Let me know your thoughts of My Hero Academia Season 2. In the comments to you down below. And if you haven't watched the series yet, by all means, I recommend it. Knock out 13 episodes before, you know, season uh, season two, episode two comes out next Saturday. Knock them out. You can easy finish it within a couple days. Uh, I watched this as ongoing, but you can easy finish it as it was going on for a couple days. Because um, next episode is really, really going to be going in to full season two throttle modes in season one. Or season two, episode one was basically a recap. Even the new episode is kind of a recap and then kind of leading in and transitioning into. All of the new stuff, which I think is a good pacing for it since, you know, a lot of people may not remember what happened. But you guys want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. I actually urge all of you to read the manga as well when season 2 is done. It is amazing. And with that being said, like the video as it does help out a lot. Subscribe. And with that, I will catch you guys next time.